Hi, this is Gary with MacMos Now. Today I want to show you two different ways that you can use your Wii with your Mac. Now if you're interested in sharing photos, movies, and music onto your Wii, then the program for you is called Wii Transfer. And you can find it at riverfold.com. Now this program, what it will do is it'll take the photos in your iPhoto library, it'll take the music in iTunes, and it'll take special movies that you select and actually make them available for your Wii that's on the same network to be able to view them. Let's go and take a look. So Wii Transfer is just an application you download and run. When you run it, it's going to create a little web server on your Mac. It'll give you the IP address right here of that web server and you turn it on. Now, once you do that, you'll be able to access things via your internet connection on your Wii. So you've got several options here. One is music, and you can select it to share all your music in iTunes. Also pictures, all of your pictures in iPhoto. You can also select movies. Now, movies is a little different. What you need to do is you need to drag and drop movie files, like MP4 files or M4V files, into this window, and it will convert them to flash video because you see the Wii doesn't actually have a media player to be able to play back just any type of video. It can only play back video through the web browser which uses Flash. So it can play back Flash video. So what Retransfer does is converts all this video in a format that the Wii web browser can play. So after you've set things up the way you want, you go back to sharing here, you note the IP address of your Mac, and then you go over to the Wii and enter that in. So here we are on our Wii. Now what we need to do with this is we need to go ahead and select the internet channel, which is right here. Start it up. And this is the version of the Opera web browser that runs inside the Wii. And the Opera web browser is capable of playing back Flash. Then what you need to do is you need to enter in a web address. Now the web address should be what you saw earlier on your Mac inside of the Wii Transfer program. So here is what it looks like on your Wii. Uh, Wii Transfer is basically a series of web pages. Uh, you can choose between movies, music, pictures, bookmarks. Let's look at music. Uh, it'll go ahead and list by artist or album all the stuff in your iTunes library and it'll play it for you using its own little player. Keep in mind this is not some sort of Wii interface or uh, something from your Mac. This is actually just what the Wii Transfer server kind of gives you. You can go back and look at pictures and view by events or albums. Kind of the same type of thing that you see in iPhoto. You can also go look at movies. Now these are the movies you selected to convert. So there's an episode of MacMost that I selected to convert. The video quality isn't that great, but the Wii has an older version of Flash with an older video player in it. One of the cool things uh, you also have is access to all your bookmarks from Safari or Firefox. So this gives you a shortcut for entering URLs into the Wii browser. You don't have to type them all in using the Wii remote. You can actually just access bookmarks using we transfer here. So when you click on one of these uh, bookmarks you'll actually just jump right to a regular page inside the Opera browser in the Wii. You can do two other things with the Wii Transfer program. One is you can grab your Mii's or your avatars from your Wii. You have to do that by using your Wii remote. You actually transfer them to the remote using the Wii's interface for doing that and then can transfer them from the remote to Wii Transfer. You can do the same thing with saved games so you could save a library of saved games if you wish. Now since we transfer is just creating a little web server. You can actually access this from anything. So you could potentially access this from another Mac or a PC or any internet enabled device. It's not just for Wii's. So what we transfer wins is it's a way to get some of your media onto your Wii. Well, not really onto your Wii. It stays on your Mac and you actually play it through your Wii. Where it loses is it doesn't really act as a true media browser except for maybe photos and music. The video stuff you're basically converting it for playback on the web. So it's not a great solution and it's nowhere near as good as the solutions for the Xbox 360, but the Xbox 360 has media players in it. The Wii does not. 
Still, it's only 19 bucks. So if you don't have any other way to play back media in your living room from your Mac, like an Apple TV or an Xbox 360, well, this might be a good option for you. Another cool thing you can do with your Wii or your Wii Remote with your Mac is use this thing to control your mouse. So let's go and take a look at an open source piece of software called Darwin Remote. So what you do with this is you actually go ahead and find your Wii Remote by pressing the 1 and 2 buttons while the Wii Remote program is running. And what it will do is it will find it and add it as a Bluetooth device. This is actually really hard to do. It took me tons and tons of tries and tweaking to finally get the Wii Remote to connect. Once you do get it to connect though, all you need to do is turn on the motion sensors and then you can basically see through those lines all the motion of the Wiimote. So if I hold it steady, I can see the lines are straight. If I move it in one direction, obviously blue and green, there's red. So there's a lot of different things you can do. And then of course the cool thing is turning mouse mode on. So I find then the neat thing is to be able to go ahead and control the mouse using the Wiimote. So I find the best thing to do is to just hold it steady, rotate right to go right, rotate left to go left, tilt up to go up, down to go down. It takes a little getting used to, but once you do you can actually control it and it becomes this kind of wireless air mouse that you could use. Might be kind of neat for presentations. There also are a lot of customizable functions so you can set all the buttons to do all sorts of different things. So for just going through slideshows, you may not even need to use the motion sensors. You can just use forward and backward buttons and home buttons and things like that. So go ahead and check out those two alternatives if you're both a Wii player and a Mac user. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.